You're sitting there staring blankly ahead and thinking to yourself, where do I go from here? Your so-called retirement years can either be a true sense of the phrase golden years or sadly, the stereotypical boring bust. In this video to help steer you toward the more exciting and healthy path, I'm gonna share four simple ideas to help you be more adventurous. Hi, I'm Sid Meyer, founder of Second Wind Movement and a life coach for older adults. And after helping hundreds of older adults make this hugely important transition into retirement, I have found that the number one challenge is finding purpose and meaning in your retirement. Your sense of adventure will largely contribute to your sense of purpose and life satisfaction during this super important life phase. So let's hop right into the top four ways that you can be adventurous. Starting with number one, immerse yourself in a new culture. This one is probably one of the more straightforward ones. When you think of adventure, travel likely pops into your head, right? Well, traveling is a popular item on bucket lists for a reason. It allows you to deep dive into an entirely new experience, which is something that your body and your mind crave. You are designed to grow, change, and develop at every life stage, not just when you're young. So it's your natural born desire to explore and to continue to learn things, which makes retirement an ideal time to get wild and crazy and tap into your sense of adventure and make plans for globe trotting. There are several options here. If you're an outdoorsy adventure type, you can go all out like Steve Gartner, who is an all-star in our signature Rewire My Retirement program. He's an avid climber and even after two mini strokes, he kept preparing mindfully and actually climbed Mount Lassen in June for his 70th birthday, which is over a 10,000 foot elevation and snow capped at the top even in June. If you want to travel with the purpose of giving back, you can look into volunteerism with organizations like Global Volunteers and Globe Aware. This is one of my favorite suggestions because volunteerism and your sense of giving back and contributing is a hugely important factor for living a purposeful lifestyle. Giving back is one of the five rings of retirement, which we use as a framework for all of our clients and students. So if this sounds up your alley, it's worth matching up your sense of adventure with your need to help others. And if you're determined to go the classic cruise route and hop on a cruise ship or sail the seven seas, try to go beyond the standard tchotchke shops as you dock at each port so that you can embrace the actual local lifestyle. The main takeaway here is to get creative and immerse yourself in a completely new environment, which means diving into everything new and non-touristy as you travel from the language and the culture to the people and the food. Number two, learn something new. If traveling isn't your speed, lifelong learning is a must. Even if you can't imagine yourself re-entering a traditional classroom setting, you can still participate by taking an online course, for example. These days, you can learn nearly anything from the convenience of your own home. And online education is only going to become more accessible. In fact, the e-learning industry is expected to grow beyond the 300 billion mark by 2025. So whether it's learning a new language, how to knit, play a sport, write a book, sing and dance, or play a musical instrument, all new topics that you take on to learn will come with benefits. And it'll help you maintain your cognitive health and your brain plasticity. For example, playing a musical instrument is like a full body brain workout with long term positive effects. Music stimulates more parts of your brain than any other human function, which is why music memory is the last part of your brain that Alzheimer's touches. And take knitting and digital photography as other examples. According to a University of Texas study, they're both considered high challenge activities that enhance your memory. So the main takeaway is learning a new skill is not only stimulating and challenging, which taps into your sense of adventure, but it's also excellent for your cognitive health. Online education makes it super convenient too, so no excuses. Number three, start a side hustle. There's no time like the present to create an online business. If you're transitioning into retirement, you have decades of both experience and wisdom to impart on the world. If a side business sounds appealing to you, it may be worth turning your years of knowledge into a passion project that actually earns money. These days, you can start a small business online based on virtually any topic, any skill set, and any interest. As of this recording in 2023, the online world is your oyster. It's all about finding clarity first on the topics and audiences that naturally light you up. 
These will lead you to your passions. And if you're passionate about something, that passion will carry you through the challenges of starting a new online business. And by the way, clarity is so huge, so much so that we focus on helping people find clarity every day. So in case you feel compelled, we have a finding clarity workbook for you. I'll just leave a link in the description below this video as a resource that you can grab. But once you have that clarity and you've chosen your topic, there are several ways to package up your knowledge and deploy bits of it in exchange for money. For instance, consider these formats. Start a blog and monetize it. Become a freelancer or a consultant. Educate, teach workshops and book speaking gigs. And sell digital info products. The beauty in starting a side hustle is it's not designed to eat up full-time hours and you can base it on your expertise or passion of yours while still challenging yourself. The important thing here is you get to help people that you care about who are aligned with your work and working because you want to, not because you have to, which is way more adventurous and stimulating for your mental and your emotional state than feeling like trapped and confined to something that doesn't excite you as much. And finally, number four, expand your social circle. Another adventurous path that you can take is to expand your social network and meet new friends. And I don't just mean Facebook friends or people that are already in your network. If those energize you, then yes, keep up those connections. But I challenge you to also make the effort to get out of your comfort zone and engage face-to-face -face in new and exciting and meaningful relationships. At any age, this is super challenging and not something that a lot of people do. We're creatures of habit and we too easily stay in our most convenient and same old, same old relationships. In fact, new research says 45% of people struggle to make new friends and the average American hasn't made a new friend in five years. And while it may not be the easiest task, meeting new friends is a worthwhile effort. A number of studies indicate that being social keeps you mentally active as you age. And it also lowers the risk of Alzheimer's and cognitive decline. So imagine if you were socially active with people who actually excite you and energize you rather than just like the obligatory or standard relationships that you have. To rejuvenate your social circle and sense of belonging, my favorite tip is to distinguish between people in your circle of influence and your circle of concern. The trick is to spend more time with people in your circle of influence, which are the people who support your growth and your goals, and the people who like to see you not only win, but change and improve yourself, as opposed to the people in your circle of concern. It's worth spending less time with people who gossip, they get trapped into fear-based thinking, or they judge, because these are the people who don't advocate for your changes or your growth. And bonus tip, I always recommend going inward finding that clarity and highlighting your core values. That way you can focus on meeting people who share the same core values, which can mean anything from your lifestyle choices to your life's mission or your purpose. For example, if you value health and fitness, you can join a kayaking club or a hiking group to meet new aligned people. Along the same vein, if you value creativity, take a class where you'll likely meet other creatives. Or if you're passionate about a certain cause, give back and engage with people who are also passionate about that same cause. No matter how you go about it though, your adventure awaits. The key to all of these ideas is to first go inward for clarity and then get out of your comfort zone. The more that you stretch yourself, the more adventurous your experiences will be. And as silly as it sounds, self-reflection, and I mean like the patient kind where you follow a system very carefully and you consider your deepest desires is super powerful. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. And it actually works. In fact, a study of UK commuters found that drivers who practice self-reflection are happier, more productive, and less burned out than people who don't. What's more, people who self-reflect perform 23% better than those who don't. So all around, it's worth the effort. And if you want help making this big transition into retirement, you're not alone and we're here to help. I do this every day and people successfully transition into meaningful retirements that are full of passion and purpose. So if you're intrigued, you can check out our signature Rewire My Retirement program and join other inspiring older adults who are filling their encore years with excitement, purpose, and adventure. Thank you so much for being here. Remember to please like, share, subscribe, and comment on this video. It helps us do our job better of creating helpful content 
for this very important group of older adults who are striving to be their best. So thank you so much for striving to be your best. We need more people like you. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.